she actually sent me a message saying there was um, some guys were shot right by our house. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a mobile addict. If you're expecting to see a skate video, well, this is not really a skate video, this is more like a story, like a live update, like a live lesson. Take it how you want. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you what happened to me last week and you take the conclusions that you want. So, as you guys might know, most of the times I drive around in a scooter. I try to skate as much as I can. A lot of times I use an electric skateboard, especially if I come to work and if it's not raining. And if I don't need to go around with my family that I need to drive a car, most of the times I drive a scooter. Last week, Sunday, I was out skating. I was actually skating the 150 millimeter skates and I was skating with some friends. They were filming and I was actually helping them. So I was just pushing some guy on the scooter to do some, some gap to wall ride. You'll see in a video from Greg Fraser later. But my scooter broke. You know what? I don't even know the name of that thing where the, the, the smoke from the scooter goes. Google Translate. Cup. Okay exhaust so basically <laughs> the exhaust of my scooter broke started making a huge noise and the whole thing just fell down i don't know anything about mechanics cars scooters whatever but you look at it and it's really obvious there was a, a screw missing we were like 10 k's from my house and i had to go back home so i ended up putting just one of these instead of the screw it's hard to explain but basically i put this in in place of the screw and then i used the cable just to tie it around that was actually some type of cable like this and i just got home that was it the scooter was super super noisy we looked everywhere we couldn't find the screw and that was it this was sunday it was good weather it's summer in south africa and for a few days i actually didn't need the scooter i think it was tuesday or wednesday there's some guys on the side of the road here also in south africa that they weld like if you if you're exhaust on the car just as a whole or if you need any quick fixing on your car scooter whatever you need they help you with that just like they're on the side of the road and not too far from my house there was some of those guys so i took my scooter there they welded the exhaust they found the screw for that place it's not the real screw that we needed but they found something that could work and that was it and my scooter was fixed then friday was kind of like a hard day for me but anyway i had to go to town which is like i live a little bit outside cape town i live like 10 minutes away from cape town and the shop it's in between where i live and the city center so i had to go to to the city side to pick up this because basically i've been using the gopro from worms and now i finally have mine so i had to go pick my own gopro fusion and when I get to the camera store, my wife calls me. She actually sent me a message saying there was um, some guys were shot right by our house. Then a few minutes later, she called me and she told me that it was right in front of my daughter's school and I should go and check if they're okay so i was like really really stressed and i just got on the scooter which is now fixed and i ended up driving from the camera shop to my place on the way to my place seriously i don't know like i live here the shop is here and somewhere around here on the traffic light i stop i usually drive around with this and i was just driving around the scooter like super stressed to get home to see like to get to my daughter's school to see if everything is okay and check what i found i've stopped in the traffic light and this thing was just in front of me it's really really weird but this is the exact screw <laughs> that i need on the scooter it's not a, a super common screw it's not i'm not gonna say this is the screw that i had before but it's the exact same but it was just there so i was stopped in a red light they call it robots here instead of traffic lights so i just stopped the scooter people were just looking what's that guy doing so i just picked the screw i got it here i'm gonna put it later on but i'm gonna keep going with the story so i was about to get to my daughter's school and there was a lot of police they didn't let me go so i had to go all the way around here's what i found i got to my daughter's school i had to go the other way around like i told you Two guys were shot dead and two other guys were shot and just stay still there. Basically, they tried to rob something and the police went behind them. And this happened at 9 a.m. Usually, I drop my kid at school at about 7, 7.30. And at about 9 a.m., there was a gunfight right in front of my daughter's school. I was so shocked. So let me show you this. Check this. Right here, this door 
before it's my daughter's school and right here you see those cars you see those pines i don't even know what to say oh it's it's crazy and it's it's been making me think a lot like a few months ago in june when I landed in Europe, I just landed and I got the news from my wife that our house had been robbed. Now, this happened right in front of my daughter's school. Like there were some parents dropping the kid and they just had to run. Then the exact same day, I just got an email saying that they're starting to make some some cuts, some electricity cuts in South Africa. So when I first moved here, they had this thing called load shedding, which is basically because the, the, the country doesn't produce enough energy for everyone living in this country, they have to make cuts. Basically, two hours a day, they cut your electricity. And it's usually early mornings when you really needed it, or like in the evening, like imagine like on Sunday, they, they made a cut in between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., which is like, it's a Sunday, that's when you are with your family. And, and then on the other end, I found a screw. All these things, like I'm not gonna say they have a meaning, and again, that's why you're reading, take your own conclusions, but these things are making me think. I don't know where this is going, but I know I'm thinking too much. Change needs to happen, and that's how I'm gonna finish this video. I'm sorry that was not really skating involved in this, but this channel, it's mainly about skating, but it's called The Lino Life, so I hope you enjoy this one. Whew. It's a hard one for me. It's a way to start the week. There will be a lot of skating. Anyway, last week I also fell on my hip, so it's not been the, the best times to skate. I'm trying to heal my hip, but there will be some skating this week. So stay there. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribing yet. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Let me know if you didn't like it. Well, and other than that, no matter what, just don't forget why we all started skating and that is because it's fun. Cheers guys, see you soon.